Hey, what is going on, everybody? I just wanted to give you a couple of quick tips that could enhance your Android Auto experience. This isn't a full tips and tricks video or tutorial. Just a couple of things you may or may not know about that can make your experience a little bit better. I am using this Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus, and my first tip for you is to help get the audio quality in your car a little bit better using Android Auto. And the tip here, and this might be specific more to Samsung phones, but there are two parts to this. First, turn off Dolby Atmos. I have typically actually enjoyed my experience with Dolby Atmos, but that has been like with headphones, for example. In the car, for some reason, it helps make the music sound a little bit muffled. So you can either swipe down here, your uh, quick toggle menu, and you'll see Dolby Atmos somewhere it could be different on each phone for me i have to swipe all the way a couple times and dolby atmos is off right now so obviously this is on and this is going to be off you want to make sure that it's off uh, the second thing you want to do is go into your music streaming app i use spotify so if i go into spotify here get into my spotify settings here now there probably is an equivalent uh, setting here for whatever app you use to stream audio but you wanna scroll down here and you wanna make sure that normalized volume is off. When I have it on, again, it adds to that muffled sound in the audio, so make sure that is off. So you want Dolby Atmos off and you want whatever normalized volume setting in your music streaming app to be off as well, and it makes a heck of a difference. I can't stream too much music because I'll get a copyright uh, strike, but uh, let's see if I can show you guys how this sounds uh, the difference in how this sounds. I'm gonna turn on normalized volume and I'm gonna turn on Dolby Atmos so you see that it sounds worse here. Let's see, again, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but let's, let's listen. I'll turn it both settings back off as we're listening. Did you hear that improvement? I sure did. All right, the second tip for you, of course, you've got a weather app built into Android Auto. If we take a look at our app menu here, and if I scroll down, I'm using a little touchpad here. I can also use the touch screen. Uh, you see the weather app. This is from Google, and if you open that up, you just get a quick forecast. Currently in Chantilly, it's 69 degrees and partly cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 72 and a low of 51. Hope you guys heard that. But if you download from the Play Store an app called Weather and Radar, then you're actually gonna get a weather map that's compatible with Android Auto. And this is it right here. It's called Weather and Radar. It's weather and an anchor sand and then radar. If I open this up, I actually get a map. And this map here shows me the current temperature, obviously, and the satellite picture. You see some scattered clouds in the area. So I think this is a lot better. You may not care about this, but uh, as a weather nut, I kind of want a little bit more detail and I like something visual. Uh, in terms of the weather. And this is just a map you can have open if you want while you're listening to your music or whatever else. And of course, this is gonna allow you also to zoom in and zoom out. So if I zoom out a little bit here, you see that it is a partly cloudy day here in the Washington DC area. And I can see some temperatures around the region. Now, the next tip for you is just to make sure that you go into the Android auto settings, which a lot of people ignore, and just make sure everything is set up the way you want it to. So in particular, if I go to notifications here. Let's say you don't want your text messages showing up. Uh, you're sitting with somebody, you want some privacy, whatever that is. Make sure that you have this stuff turned off. You've got show conversations is toggled off. Show first line of conversations is toggled off. If you want a play conversations chime, you can have that. So play with this a little bit. If you like for the first line of the conversation to show, uh, you don't mind, you don't care. You know, if maybe you're driving alone, so you don't mind. Let's say you're with somebody from work and you just don't want them all up in your business you can toggle that right off. And as I continue to move down here, of course, there are more settings. For example, you can choose a wallpaper. Now, not something from your gallery. It's It's gotta be something uh, from these set wallpapers here. I think I had it just on, on gray, 
but there are some really nice ones here like if I choose dusk that's a, a nice wallpaper I think if you want a little bit of art in the background of your Android Auto. So make sure you've got the conversation settings set how you want, depending on the privacy level you want. And of course, if you press uh, see more in the phone under more settings, that's gonna open up in your phone. My fourth tip to enhance your Android Auto experience, remember to take advantage of these audio commands. You can tap on this Google themed microphone here. And of course the screen is flickering just on camera, not in person. Or you can press the audio command button on your steering wheel. Either way, take advantage of those things. You don't have to type in anything manually. For example, if I say, navigate to the nearest Chick-fil-A. All right, Chick-fil-A, let's go. There you go. No need to type it in manually. No need to open navigation first and then use the voice command to look for your destination. Let's say you want to add something to your route. You could also say, nearest McDonald's. Sure, McDonald's. Add to route. Sure, adding a stop at McDonald's in Fairfax. And then there you go. So now I've got two stops. I don't know why you'd want to go to McDonald's and Chick-fil-A. Maybe you like the uh, chicken sandwiches at Chick-fil-A, but you want McDonald's fries. I don't know. But the point is you can do all this stuff so seamlessly just using your voice. And you could also ask all the same stuff you would outside of Android Auto. For example, is there an NBA game tonight? The Heat will face the Celtics today at 8.30 p.m. Launch Spotify. Opening Spotify. So you guys get it. Take advantage of those audio commands. Okay, and I don't know how well you guys can see this here, but this is my final tip for you. If you do not have Android Auto wireless built into your car, you can make it wireless. It's not built into my car, but I turned Android Auto into wireless and it has been seamless, hiccup free, and just an awesome experience versus wired so you don't have to plug any cords in each time you want to use it this is the motorola ma1 wireless android auto car adapter and again like i said this thing has just been perfect for me uh, it is seamless to pair just regular bluetooth pairing there are instructions that come with it i will leave a link in the description to where you can pick this up but that's my fifth tip pick up something like this it'll run you about maybe 70 80 bucks at the time of filming this video but for me, it has been more than worth the investment to turn my Android Auto experience into a completely wireless one. I have noticed no lag or anything like that in my three or so months using this thing. So that's gonna do it guys, just five quick tips to hopefully enhance your Android Auto experience. If you found any of these useful, do me a favor and leave a thumbs up on this video so I know what types of videos you guys like. And if you're into mobile tech, you might wanna consider subscribing. I cover things in the Android world, the Apple world, Samsung, and more. I appreciate all of you watching. I'll catch you in the next one. This video is sponsored by Best No Copyright Music. I'm often asked where it is I get the music that I include in my videos? The answer to that question is best no copyright music. Whether you need music for your own creative needs, your own videos, or you just want to vibe out to some of the best tunes on the web, best no copyright music, link to their channel is in the description. <laughs>